the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. Mighty God, we thank you, we bless you today. Thank you for all that you have done for all of us. Because of you, that's why we stay here. And Lord, I thank you for what you would do. Because we are in the dispensation of your manifestation. So I thank you, Jehovah, what you would do today. Thank you, Father God, for your power, for your anointing, and for your glory that is going to come down here today. Thank you for life that will change. Thank you for the manifestations of the supernatural. Father, in the name that is above every name, I respect and I bind the every contrary spirit in the name of Jesus. And I declare today that the people of God will be blessed in the name of Jesus. I declare today in the name of Jesus, there shall be manifestation of the power of God in this place in the name of Jesus. Father, I declare today that your people begin to enter into the supernatural realm of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, have your way. Say your angels. Jehovah. The intercept us angels at the four corners of this house. Thank you. Send them love. Send them love. To touch your people. To deliver your people. To heal your people. To bless your people. To take them to another level in you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. If we believe, shout a loud amen. Amen. Come on, shout a loud amen. Amen. Shout a loud hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Come on, give it praise. Come on, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Come on, 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 clap your hands.
also for Pastor Seth, thank you very much. And I saw for uh, Seth and so on. So I mean, Shalama. Both of them have been a great blessing to me here in Accra, Ghana. This is just the beginning of what God is going to do. In this ministry. Next time it's going to be three, four day revival. So get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Today is just an introduction. And the introduction so bad I not open them when the actual asafi. For me to introduce myself to you. So open them when the actual asafi and teach and preach a little bit. Now the church and we preaching we train your man to cry and trust God for the manifestations of His power. Now we are not sure about who you are. Anyone you are not to me a person ever there by. Come on, somebody say Amen. 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 Also, Apostle Bunny is a good friend. Now, your papa is always Israel. And last December, your papa is a seven on your suffering in our death train. Or no, so you're not done for power. It's because of him I'm here today to minister. He is a covenant brother indeed. So we bless God for him and the work, great work that he's doing in Israel. Amen. 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 Well, I'm going to get started. The topic of today's message is called the three dimensions of the supernatural. And the idea of the church is that who the three dimension of supernatural. It is very important for you to understand and how to operate in the supernatural realm. Because what is going on around us right now, you cannot operate in the natural realm. We are in a time that every believer will learn how to enter into the supernatural realm. And there's a reason God gave us supernatural. Because God does not want us to be limited in the natural realm. We have to learn how to enter into the supernatural. Realm. So today I'm going to be teaching the three dimensions of the supernatural realm. Somebody say amen. Amen. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Verse 18. Verse 18. 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18. Verse 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18. The Bible says, Why would you not look to the things which are seen? But are the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal. But the things which are not seen are eternal. Now, the Bible is revealing to us that there are two realms. The Bible says there are two realms. It says one realm is the things that are not seen. And another realm is the things that are seen. And the Bible says we do not look for the things which are seen. But we look to 
look to the things that are not seen. So there's some things we can see. There's some things that we can touch. There's some things that we can taste. There's some things we can smell. The Bible also says that is the natural. Yeah, 
supernatural realm is not limited to the natural law. Supernatural realm is permanent. And the supernatural realm is invisible. That's what the Bible says. We do not look for the things that are seen. Outside of time, 
We trust you. We just started. It's just the beginning. Yes. It's just the beginning. Yes. I feel the assurance here. Now, since here, we understand that there are two realms. You have a realm in the only the thing that can see, that we can see. I tell you, I don't know you have a thing that we cannot see. And then you have a realm. The natural realm. And we are so we are and the thing that I can see. And then you are to do and we are limited. And my we are given that from in the natural realm. In the natural realm to the law of the nature. And we are not to the law of nature. And we are we are We are limited to time. We are not We are limited to space. And my we are we are limited to matter. Because in the natural realm, in the natural realm, we start from point A to point B. Who start from point A to point B? But in the supernatural realm, the supernatural realm, there's no point A to point B. There's no point A and no point B. Everything is in the cycle. And the be a long cycle. Everything is in the now. Be a now. Everything is in the now. Be a now. Whatever God promised you, God promise it in the now. When God says it is done, yes, it is done. But the supernatural realm, the supernatural realm, no. in the dimension, in the dimension that operates oh, yeah, above natural realm. Make it. You have to learn this three dimensions of the supernatural. 
because if you stay in the natural then you will be limited but in the supernatural
Hey, you don't learn how to enter the supernatural realm. And you understand the three dimensions of the supernatural realm. All your struggles are over. Few years ago on a Friday in US, and 
going to take you along with me. Yes. Hey. Yes. I want to take you along with me. I want to take you along with me. Them to possess them. 
Yeah, me touch the wolf, so I touch the wolf. The hand cast on his head, he said, "I'm going." He opened the second door to show me. And because God gave me faith to take into the supernatural, me and my man, he chose me out of the four winds. Even though the doctor said six months, the doctor cast said six months to be. God said, "No." Me and my man said, "See, I'm going to hell, sir." And I think he said, "See, I'm going to hell." Touching 
defeat that cannot be seen. He combats even things that are seen. And what he combats even things that are seen. And what he combats even things that are seen. What do I mean by that? The choice. Faith. Bring the unseen to see. And the new and the old.
Number three is the glory. Yeah, trust in your name. Give me my name. Can I take five minutes more? Oh, uh, also say my identity. So more than five minutes. Also say five minutes. Also say more than five minutes. Acts chapter one verse eight. Acts chapter one verse eight. For you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Now we have two days in the Lord to come upon my channel, and you shall be my witnesses. Now we have my matters of four. You shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem. Now we have my matters of four in Jerusalem. After explaining, you shall receive what power, power. when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. There's difference between the Holy Spirit and power. Holy Spirit is the same as the glory of God. Yes. Holy Spirit is the same as the presence of God. Yes. But power is not the presence. Actually, power is the manifestation of the glory. Yes. Power is the manifestation of the glory. In other words, without the glory, which is the Holy Spirit, there's no power. So number two is the anointing or the power of God is the second dimension of the supernatural. But remember, without the Holy Spirit, which is the glory or the presence of God, there's no power of God. So the second dimension of the supernatural realm is the anointing. And the anointing of God is inside of us. Now, without the Holy Spirit, there's no anointing. So when the Holy Spirit comes, it comes upon you and it deposited power inside of you. And you don't come to us one of the trials so not got the trial no now I'm not to be here. So every believer has an anointing. Because if you don't have an anointing, you cannot be accepted by God. So we can must say that we are going to we are accepted because of the power of God in us. Without the, without the power of God, you are rejected. But the anointing is the one that grants us for God to receive us. You will see Jesus healed by the anointing. Many of So that is the second domain. 